the midnight there was a cry made behold the bridegroom's coming go you out to meet him watch therefore for you know neither the day nor the hour when the son of man cometh the sad truth there are millions today that call themselves Christians and if you ask them they're convinced they're going to heaven and they're not not at all even though they have the name I feel the greatest grief of God right now when I pray is the grief over so many becoming foolish virgins those who were once wise those who had been preparing those who were diligent somehow getting caught up with the spirit of this age somehow allowing themselves to drift away from Jesus Christ from faithfulness to the house of God becoming Sunday morning Christians you don't hear much preaching today about the coming of Jesus not at all but Jesus preached so much about his return he warned over and over again about being ready to meet him when he comes Jesus cautions but he said no angel knows no man knows watch therefore for you do not know the hour when your Lord is coming therefore be ready also for in such an hour as you think not the Son of Man is coming he's speaking to his own disciples he's not talking to heathen he's talking about Christians or believers those who love him being ready for his coming he said be ye ready at any time it's all about readiness if you're truly living in readiness and you're preparing for his coming it doesn't matter whether he comes tomorrow or a year from now or 10 years from now. You are living in readiness and being in readiness gives you joy and peace. You can't lose by being ready. Jesus warned what would happen to Christians who persuaded themselves in their own heart that he's delayed his coming. He said, you'll start drinking with the drunken. He said, you're going to beat your fellow servant, you start gossiping, and you're going to have murderous tongues and hatred thoughts, because you see, you don't believe you're going to have to stand before the throne and give an answer. They said, I believe I can repent. The Lord is merciful. I'll repent the day before, because he's coming tomorrow. He's not coming today. You begin to understand why Jesus said, I'm not going to tell you the time. You're not going to know. No man knows that day. Suppose the Lord had set a date. How many generations would have gone to hell? This is a motivation Jesus gave us toward holiness. Anything that motivates you to prepare for the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. A state of readiness. Listen to the heart cry of a true Christian. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My soul shall be joyful in God. He that hath clothed me with the garments of salvation. He's covered me with the robe of righteousness. As a bridegroom decks himself with ornaments and a bride adorns herself with her jewels that means that the bride the true Christian his heart goes out or her heart goes out constantly to Jesus there's a longing there's a yearning there's a cry Lord put your robe of righteousness on me I'm dependent on you but you see the Christian in Amos only really doesn't want to depend wholly on Jesus there's not dependence it's I can do it on my own I'll go my own way, do my own thing, and when I die, I'm going to change. Everything will be different. Watch you therefore. You know not when the master of the hour cometh at even or at midnight or at the cock crowing or in the morning. That's coming suddenly, find you sleeping. And what I send you, I send to all. Watch, watch. Wherefore he saith, Awake thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead, and Christ shall give thee light. Redeeming the time because the days are evil. Wake up, saints. Wake up, Christians, is what he's saying. There's going to be a great sleep and slothfulness and slumber come upon many Christians. Many, many believers are going to be tested by this, I believe, with everything in my heart. In spite of dead churches, in spite of sleeping pastors and shepherds all over the world, in spite of the falling away, in spite of all the, the noise and din of false prophets who are saying peace, peace, and trying to get people to just to settle down in a love trap, in spite of all of that, God is going to have his servants cry out, it's midnight, behold the bridegroom is coming, God is going to have his servants that are warning that Jesus is coming. It's midnight, and behold, the bridegroom is coming. That's the cry of this hour. Be ye ready. Are you ready? Are you ready to stand before Jesus? And the Bible says, while they were gone, the bridegroom came, and the door was shut. First step, 
toward becoming a wise virgin, start thinking about Jesus. Let him be in your thoughts four, five, six times a day as often as you can when you get up in the morning. Just say it, Jesus. All through the day, Jesus. Mention his name. Think upon him. If you're ashamed of me before men, I'll be ashamed of you before my Father in heaven. But if you confess me before men, I'll confess you before my Father in heaven. Folks, it's time to get serious with God. It's time to get serious.